welcome you all to today's event, which is about design thinking, critical thinking and innovation design. Before we start with the event, I would like to introduce you all to the motto of IIC. Institute Innovation Council, that is IIC, is an initiative started by the Government of India, which organizes events and seminars that are related to startups, innovation, entrepreneurship and intellectual property rights. The main aim of the committee is to systematically foster the culture of innovation and build a startup ecosystem. Before we begin, I would like to invite our principal, Dr. Manira Momin, to enlighten us with a few words. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Anushka, and very good morning to all of you. Uh, I always think that a Sunday is not uh, just to rest, but Sunday is a day where you think, sit, think, look back, and you have a time to yourself to think in a different way. You have a time to yourself to think what we did, what we could do, and what worked, what did not work. What is supposed to be done? Where do you do I want to go? And what I want to achieve? And how do I achieve? I think critical thinking and design thinking plays an important role. So I really appreciate Dr. Sandeep as well as DJ Sanghvi, IIC, uh, uh, Dr. Sandeep, uh, Dr. Sunil and uh, their entire organization and we are a part of SVKM and we see that there are a lot of activities have been ongoing at every institute level and I'm happy to see that we have collaborated with DJ for this activity and appreciate Dr. Sandeep to uh, take up this particular point because at this point of time I must say that uh, the current generation has a lot of potential to think in a different way. Uh, what we need is connecting them with dots of showing them path of critical thinking and thinking out of the box. Thinking and designing our thinking in a such a way that we are near to achieve our goal. Sometimes the traditional way of thinking or thinking in a routine way which we our we are we are wired to, you sometimes don't get what the, the desired outcome, if I put it in a one word. That so this I don't know, I, I remember this design of thinking concept. I I came across to be very frank around three years ago when I happened to talk to one of the director of design. Uh, uh, School of Design, uh, Dean of School of Design. And then it really opened up my mind that, yes, the way we think is very important to get success or to get the uh, goal achieved or achievable goal, put it in the other way. So um, I'm glad that uh, Dr. Sandeep is going to talk on that. And uh, I was talking it during zero hours before we started the program. And I was saying that uh, BNCP students have always come up with some innovative format uh, during COVID, during a lockdown. And I was amazed to see that the way they came up with uh, the format of online awareness, online camps, online activities. And that certainly made me proud of uh, them. And uh, I started thinking that it's a new generation who thinks in a different way. But uh, I'm sure if the concept of design thinking is developed uh, in students, the outcome would be much better and the achievable outcome uh, would be there. So with this few words, thank you once again, and entire IIC of BNCP and IIC of uh, uh, DJ Sanghvi. Uh, and I see that today's session is going to open up new avenues for uh, students and the way it uh, opened, at, you, you, uh, when I heard from the Dean of uh, the School of Design, and I was like, wow, we can think in this this way too, right? You know, so I'm sure today uh, some of you, majority of you would have that wow moment and would start thinking in a different direction. Uh, and that would definitely help you achieve more in your life. So once again, thank you, uh, Sunil sir and uh, Sandeep sir for uh, designing this uh, today's uh, event and I'm sure it's going to go long way in students life. 
So once again, thank you. And I'm sure you will have a wonderful learning Sunday today. Over to you, Anushka. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your precious words. Now I would like to invite Sunil sir from DJ Sangvi College to say a few words before we start the event. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your uh, inspirational words to the students. I'm, I'm sure your students are doing very, very well. And uh, well, it, it always is true that, you know, it's, it's always the war which brings about the great inventions. That's what we've seen in history. And that's what now COVID is doing. Technology is going on the war front. We've got a lot of startups, you know, which, which are doing things which were, you know, which were there right in front of our eyes and were really painstakingly to be done. But that's what the startups have done. You know, small, small things, they have innovated so that life can become simple. Connection can become simple. Information can be easily available. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, this is just, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We've been talking about startups since 2014, but it, it, it's been a slow process. Uh, it, it's been a very steady process. People have been cautious in, you know, giving out their ideas. People have been convert, uh, conscious of investing their own money. People have been conscious of uh, venture capitalists, been conscious of, you know, investing money at the right places. So this is the time where all these pockets have been started awareness of, you know, what actually has to be done. And uh, kudos to IIC also, the, the MHRD IIC, for, uh, again, same thing that started in around 2015. And I still remember uh, uh, Mr. Deepan Sau in uh, Wellinka College coming up with this idea that the government had, you know, uh, set up a committee to boost the startups. And uh, surprisingly, uh, the, 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 the Wellinka uh, Hall, I still remember in 2015, it was packed. You know, it, it was somebody who had uh, just uh, the, the idea from the government was just initiated in the beginning. It was uh, it was uh, just on paper. And yet so many people turned up to listen to Mr. Deepan. So I'm, I'm sure, you, I, you know, it went on till the wee hours of the afternoon and everybody was there debating on, you know, to join, the, how to join the IIC. There was the ARIA thing which had come up at that time. You know, the very early stages, the stages of birth, but then people were so enthusiastic in that auditorium. And in spite of, you know, all the burden of teaching, they, you know, uh, they, they enthusiastically um, hold on, held on to what uh, Mr. Deepan Sao was saying. So that was the beginning. And now we've come to three years down the line, four years down the line. And uh, things are picking up because uh, you understand that we are living in a metropolitan city. The things are not always that glory in the small towns. So what IIC has done is, you know, uh, first step is instead of just rushing ahead, it has decided to consolidate, you know, whatever has, is available with the institutes. So I think that is what IIC is doing, consolidating. And that's how this mentor mentee program has been started so that, you know, we boost up all the other colleges and everyone comes at par and then together we move ahead. And together means, you know, uh, for example, we are we are under the same SVKM net, and uh, we've been like brothers. And uh, so, uh, pharmacy and technology, you know, this, we can exist in a very symbiotic relationship and go ahead. You know, because we have a lot of our biomedical department, a lot of projects in medical, and uh, even our students in EXTC are doing a lot of IoT related things, which have their sensors based on a lot of things where the pharmacists can contribute. So again. Uh, we can still develop this symbiotic relationship. And of course, you know, our labs are freely available for each other students to go and that. So the students can take a leaf out of it. If anything you require from the labs of DJ Sangvi, you are more than welcome. A design thinking, again, is, as I said, you know, this is the right stage to boost ahead. So that's where design thinking has come up. You, we've heard the buzzword, buzzword, and now Sandeep Sir is going to throw some light on what it is all about. So thank you, and uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sandeep, sir. Let's begin the session. Over to you, Anushka. Yes, Sandeep, thank sir. you for thank you Jakarian. for precious words, sir. Over to you, Disha. Hello, everyone. So without wasting any time, let's start our event by introducing our honorable guest, Dr. Sandeep Zine. Welcome, sir. Sir has been working as a faculty in Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry at SVKM's 
Dr. Banuben Nanavati College of Pharmacy, Mumbai, and as a convener of ISC committee. Sir has more than 14 years of teaching experience, and he has been approved as a PG professor at University of Mumbai. He has guided over nine postgraduate and one PhD student, and currently two students are pursuing postgraduate under him. Sir has 22 scientific publications and more than 100 citations to his credit. He has worked on projects related to synthetic and analytical chemistry. His expertise is well versed with various analytical capability techniques. Sir has been a lead member of many of the institute related activities. Recently, Sir has been received a tag of innovation ambassador by, by Ministry of Education under Government of India, Innovation Cell. Now I request sir to please start the event over to you sir. Sir you are on mute. Yes, I am sharing screen. Just give me a moment. Let us confirm whether screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. OK, all right. So uh, thank you very much uh, for this uh, nice introduction. And I am grateful to team of uh, IIC BNCP and uh, DJ Sangvi student cell members for executing this ISC calendar activity in a very systematic manner. And uh, especially thankful to our uh, principal madam, Munira madam, uh, as well as uh, Sunil sir for giving me an opportunity to share thoughts on this uh, topic, design thinking, critical thinking and innovation design. So dear students, Welcome to all of you in this session. As uh, Disha told about innovation ambassadors, isn't it? So Ministry of Education's Government of India Innovation Cell usually plan the series of sessions to create awareness, inculcate entrepreneur mindset and uh, bring cognizance about the startups, then intellectual property rights, and the importance of uh, innovation ecosystem enablers and facilitators among the students and uh, fellow faculty members. So uh, dear students, so in this session, this will be the content of talk, maybe one and a half hour, we will talk on what is design and critical thinking then design thinking as a strategy for innovation, then distinction between design and design thinking, then a framework for design thinking, how will you scale the design thinking, then uh, some career opportunities in field of design thinking and innovations, as well as some case studies we will discuss. But uh, before moving further, uh, would like to take a reflection on certain questions. So are you ready for the same? Just raise the hands or show me the thumbs up so that based on your responses, I can set a tone of uh, today's workshop. So that's great. So first uh, let me know what is your understanding about these terminologies? Creative thinking, design thinking, or maybe the innovation and invention. So I would like to listen some couple of responses on these three to four terminologies so that I can gauge and accordingly we will move ahead with this very innovative and interesting topic. So how will you say or how will you reflect on these terminologies? As per your understanding, 
what is design thinking or what is critical thinking or what is innovation and what is invention like that so would like to listen a couple of responses so anyone please you can unmute yourself and just reflect on these two to three terminologies what is your understanding on this particular point yes please yes sir the so this is asan wahidna yeah i'm from dj sami yes uh, yeah in my opinion design thinking is all got to do with trying to uh, figure out uh, the most advantageous design uh, where we can uh, pretty much eliminate most issues that uh, most of the problems that we are trying to cover something around those lines like uh, for example maybe if a certain design needs to be made more lightweight or so like something of that sort like a certain product let's say so trying to fit in the original features while at the same time trying to reduce its uh, bulkiness should i say something like that just thinking out of the box to meet the requirements yes yes asim i really appreciate your reflection all right so one more sharing please on this particular terminologies maybe you can talk on critical thinking or maybe you can talk on what will be the framework of design thinking or maybe what is innovation or what is invention yes <clears throat> hello sir Hi, yes 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 saurabh uh, go ahead yes yeah, sir so what i think about innovation is in entrepreneurship is how innovative your idea or how innovatively you design the product that can be in the market or like that okay all right saurabh i appreciate your responses and uh, as we listen ahim and uh, saurabh so one more question i would like to ask that uh, how many of you would like to go ahead or start your own business or maybe the startup and to become an entrepreneur after your education just you can type in yes or no in chat section so that i can engage the things just i am observing chat box as well yes i am getting responses that's good very nice and uh, you know or maybe couple of students will join or maybe now the organizations has started the separate section or maybe the separate department as a design thinking lab or maybe the design lab isn't it so maybe they are looking for the such persons or maybe the such candidates who is having potential of critical thinking innovative thinking and in what way he or she is able to conceive that particular idea so that kind of the skill set is now uh, looking in a market so uh, sure so uh, okay uh, dear participants got to know your reflections and now we will go ahead with our uh, actual topic that is about uh, design thinking but uh, before moving on actual topic i would like to uh, discuss some innovations by innovators as you are observing on screen isn't it students launch the terracotta startup with uh, just rupees 50000 and in that increases the artisan incomes around by 40% so this is a one of the story uh, recently i read and uh, you know the terracotta that is the type of fired clay uh, typically of a brownish red color and the unglazed one it is generally used for ornament building the materials or maybe the for uh, different crafts isn't it so in the heart of india's handicraft community as you know the ruler artisans 
are sculpting the simplistic earthenware with the skill of their hands. And the process begins when the clay is meticulously sewed and churned to the right consistency in a homemade uh, contraption. So every product shaped from this particular mud is dried and then uh, fired in a keel rising to the internal temperature, maybe the temperatures maybe around 600 to 1000 degrees centigrade. So that will be the overall manufacturing of these uh, crafts. So a 20 year old from the pink city of Rajasthan, they are working to deliver these anachronistic beauties to your location while helping the sustain the art of terracotta pottery. You know, the name of students are Abhinav Agarwal and Mega Zoshis. They have started this uh, startup that is the Mitti Hub. It is an online store that sells earthenware delivered directly from the artisans to the buyers. And what is unique about the venture is its allegiance to those 25 potters back home. And they are now receiving a monthly income of around up to rupees 40,000 from an art. What was expected to get lost amid machine made bulk production, isn't it? So this is a beauty of a startup. And one more uh, thing I would like to show you over here or one more innovation by innovator by this uh, Mumbai based uh, lady. So what uh, she did, you know. You as uh, we have, we all have experienced that while traveling, uh, we generally avoid the public toilets and urinals, isn't it? What is the reason? Because of the lack of hygiene. And most importantly for the putrid smell, most of them emit, isn't it? And that smell arises from the ammonia. And as you know, well, that ammonia is released when water mixes with the urine. So to ensure the smell leaves, some of us even flush a second time, isn't it? But did you know that each flush in Western toilets uses up to six liters of water? And moreover, more water is used to wash up the cleaning agent while cleaning the urinals. So, however, to ensure water is saved and urinals are kept clean. So, this uh, Mumbai based water conservationist uh, Neha Bagoria, she has come up with a simple innovation device and the name of that device, she uh, took the uh, patent of the same that is about the eco trapping, isn't it? So, using this uh, retrofit device, Ecotrapine, there is a no need for even a single flush, isn't it? So the urinal would need to be cleaned two times a day during regular use. And this particular device works on a simple mechanical principle and needs to be placed on the drains of a men's urinal. And it allows the urine to pass through it swiftly and flap placed within it opens up when the liquid passes and it uh, closes once the flow stops. So as of now, 800 devices have been deployed across the India and that uh, they have helped to save around 2 lakh liters of water per urinal and a total around 190 million liters of potable water. So dear students, these are the innovations possible because of simply the design thinking, isn't it? So to understand the concept of design thinking, let us explore on these two innovations. Just now we have reflected. Just give a thought. What could have been the thought process of these innovators during these innovations? Come on, you can share some points or maybe the drop in the chat section, isn't it? So what will be the thought process to come up with a certain idea? So what will be the steps that generally we should follow? Let us have uh, some reflection on this point as well. So that we can go ahead 
with the session. So to come up with any design or to come up with any product or maybe the service. So what kind of the thought process is needed? So maybe I know you can give answers like that will be the uh, creative thinking is needed. Isn't it? So apart from that, how will you club or how will you uh, channelize your creative thinking towards the final product or maybe the service? What we expect to deliver? Yes, any reflection on this particular point? Yes, sir. Uh, so I can talk about yes, please. Uh, so I think firstly we should have an issue or some problem that we are trying to address with the product. So the okay. first step should be identifying what exactly we are trying to achieve. Okay. After which uh, we have to obviously think about uh, how you, I mean, how you, uh, you the product should be accessible. It should be made so that it's easy to use. It shouldn't be something that is uh, way tough to get your hands on. It yes. should be compact. There's something like basic requirements of uh, to try and get people to use it. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, Asim. I again appreciate your thought process. So when we are talking about this design thinking or uh, design process, so one of the important point is that this design thinking informs human centered innovations, isn't it? So it begins with developing an understanding of customers or the users unmet or unarticulated needs. And obviously, if we apply these design thinking principles for our product or maybe the service that will minimize the uncertainty and the risk of innovation, you know, by engaging the customers or users through a series of prototypes to learn then test and refine the concepts. So this will be the continuous process. So what it is exactly that we will explore more and more on this particular point. Dear students, for example, if you decide to go domestic airport from your home. So what kind of the thoughts or maybe the options generally gets pop up in your mind? You try to explore the various possibilities to reach airport. Maybe by auto rickshaw or maybe by bus or maybe by private car or maybe by walk if you are staying close to airport, isn't it? So what are you doing over here? Once you have decided to go to domestic airport to catch a flight. So you are giving inclusive thought. To reach your destination. With concrete planning. And then you are executing it. So here you know. The desired destination. And accordingly you explore the options. See the feasibility. And then you are executing it. So on a similar line, if we have to enter in your own startup or maybe the own business venture, and if you have a clarity on the same, yes, this is my final product or this is my final service as an end product. And if you execute overall channelization of startup through design thinking process, so I'm sure your own idea or your own startup will never become fail. So design thinking is what? It is a new innovative thinking for new problems. Isn't it? So one more uh, point that would like to explore over here. The famous quote, isn't it? Of scientist, you can guess name of scientist. 
here uh, in particular i would like to share isn't it this particular quote of einstein isn't it he was certainly right what is the quote we can't solve the problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them let us explore on this thought in addition you know with the rapid changes in society the methods we have previously used to solve many of the problems we face today are no longer effective so we need to develop the new ways of thinking in order to design better solutions services and experiences that solve our current problems dear students if you imagine this covid pandemic you know we were not sure uh, hello sir we cannot hear you yes some some problem was there power fluctuation was there but right now is it okay yes sir am i audible now yes okay and screen is visible yes okay all right so you know uh, if you imagine the covid pandemic situation we were not sure that the situation will change tremendously and we will meet like this on online, online platforms like ms team is there zoom google meet to exchange thoughts and gain the education knowledge or maybe the information isn't it but uh, with this covid we all are now well acquainted with the problems and their possible solutions and that is the new normal isn't it so dear students if you are if i am asking you ki benchmark for ideas and innovation process so what will be the benchmark criteria for the innovative idea so you can give answer like that ki maybe the innovative idea should be helpful to the people isn't it or maybe our idea should save the time or maybe our idea uh, may be adding to the convenience uh, to society or maybe that idea should be the cost effective or maybe idea improve the quality of life isn't it so that will be the benchmark criteria for the innovative idea so when we are talking the first question i asked you about innovation or maybe the invention so what is your reflection on that what is the meaning of invention and the innovation so anyone would like to differentiate between these two terminologies invention and the innovation yes please Yeah, what is your understanding about these two terminologies? Ki whether both are same? What do you say? Any one of you? Innovation kya hota hai? And invention kya hota hai? Sir, invention is an entirely new theory, concept, or uh, product, whereas innovation is adding facilities to that invented product to make it better. Yes, uh, Jay, I appreciate your uh, reflection on this question. so invention you know invention is creation of a product or a introduction of a process 
for the first time you are introducing in market. And innovation means what you know, improvement on or a significant value we are adding to the existing product or maybe the process or maybe the service. So that is called as an innovation. So hope you are understanding on these two terminologies is clear about invention and the innovation. And uh, dear students, you know, all these innovation. It is a change that creates and or maybe the adds the value and uh, provides a competitive advantage here. And maybe new products or maybe any new production methods eh, when uh, we are talking about any new markets or maybe new forms of organization or maybe the business model, isn't it? And uh, you know uh, all these innovations, maybe we can categorize it as a demand pool innovation and the technology push innovation. So how will you categorize demand pool innovation? I can tell you the examples of such startups or maybe the unicorns now. Uh, Uber, you know, Ola or maybe the Zomato or maybe the Myra or uh, you know our uh, online pharmacy that is the NetMeds or 1MG or maybe the PharmEasy. So all these are the demand pool innovations, you know that originates from the intention to satisfy the needs expressed by the market. And that generates the incremental innovation, isn't it? Every time you will get new feature, every time you will get new addition in existing product, and it usually fits into already existing markets and their evolvements. And in case of technology push innovation, suppose if we are picking up some uh, unicorns in this category. So technology push innovation, Facebook, isn't it? Or maybe now 3D printing or now the wearables, whatever we are using, maybe the uh, gene and cell therapy that we can categorize. All these things are the technology push innovation. Miss originates for R&D activities and from competitive advantages provided by the new technologies. And they uh, generate some more radical innovations and. Uh, isn't it? So we were over here on innovation or maybe the invention, isn't it? Now we will try to understand the creative thinking, which is a starting process towards the design thinking framework, isn't it? So here you can uh, see the slide top creative thinking skills. And you can uh, read the pointers in that slide. Okay. Creative thinking is the ability to consider something in a new way, isn't it? So creative thinking includes your analysis, how much you are open minded. Problem solving ability. Then organization in what way you are organizing the things. Communication, isn't it? So it might be a new approach to a problem that is called as a creative thinking. And as rightly said by Asim initially only that creative thinking means thinking outside the box, isn't it? So often uh, creativity involves lateral thinking, you know, which is the ability to pursue the patterns that are not fixed or maybe the obvious. And uh, you know, uh, creative thinking might mean devising the new ways to carry out our task, solve the problems then meet the challenges. It means uh, means. A That is called as a creative this way of creative thinking. OK, am I audible again? 
Yes, sir. Okay. So this kind of the creative thinking isn't uh, limited to uh, artistic types. You know, creative thinking is a skill that anyone can nurture and develop. And each one of you is having a potential to think creatively. So creative thinking is expressed in several ways. For example, here on a screen, uh, some of the types of creative thinking you uh, might see in your workplace as well, or maybe during your uh, college days, that will be the analysis. You know, before thinking creatively about something, you first have to be able to understand it. And this requires the ability to examine things carefully to know what they mean or maybe whether you are looking at a text or maybe the data set or maybe the lesson plan or maybe reading the literature you have to or you need to be able to analyze it first isn't it so that is the one point that we should consider in a creative thinking open mindness i think uh, means to think creatively set aside any assumptions or maybe the biases you may have and look at things in a completely new way so by coming to a problem with an open mind you allow yourself the chance to think creatively also one more point that is one of the important point that is problem solving ability you know employers or maybe any entrepreneurs want creative employees who will help them to solve the work related issues when faced with a problem consider ways that you can solve it before asking to help means if you need the input of higher authority suggest solutions you know rather than just presenting the problems and you all have that kind of the uh, capacity maybe the especially all the student council cell members isn't it you all have a uh, new ideas and you always come up with new uh, suggestions or maybe the solutions for particular problem so that is really appreciable so that will be uh, considered as one of the point in critical thinking and organization as you know uh, this might seem the counter intuitive, but aren't creative people known for being somewhat disorganized, isn't it? So actually the organization is an essential part of creativity. So while you might need to get a bit messy when trying out a new idea, you need to organize your ideas, isn't it? Now, when we are talking about number of ideas, so obviously there will be the disorganization. But over the period, if you put this thought process, you will learn the things and you will try to put all the ideas in a very organized way, isn't it? So the others will understand and follow through with your vision. So that is organization. And uh, communication is one of the important point in creative thinking. You know, dear students, people will only appreciate your creative idea or solution if you communicate it effectively you need to have strong written and oral communication skills you also need to be able to understand a situation fully before thinking creatively about it that means you also need to be a good listener and uh, you may come up with a unique solution by asking the right questions and listening to the answers so hope you are clarity on this particular creative thinking is clear now. Then we will shift on our next point for discussion. That is the framework for design thinking. So what it is exactly? Design thinking is non-linear, isn't it? Just try to concentrate on these keywords design thinking is non-linear it is iterative process that teams used to understand the users isn't it who are our customers or maybe the stakeholders before launching any product or the service you have to understand them first you have to challenge the assumptions 
problem is there, redefine that problems. And create innovative solutions to prototype and test. Work on that problem. Find out the solutions. Develop prototype for that. And ask customer or maybe the stakeholders to try this particular option or maybe try this particular solution. So this design thinking involves the five phases. If you are observing here on a slide, the first point is about empathize, isn't it? Define it, ideate, prototype, and taste. So it is most useful to tackle the problems that are not very defined or maybe the unknown. So as you know, a framework for design thinking covers all these points. So what is empathize? So empathize is to understand and share the feelings of another. Are you getting this word? Empathize is to understand and share the feelings of another. So the five practices that enable the innovation generally include the development of a deep empathic understanding of user needs and their context. Then the formation of heterogeneous teams, isn't it? Heterogeneous, that is not always the case. All the like-minded people come together and will uh, come up with the best solution. So the here, special word I have used over here, the formation of heterogeneous teams, isn't it? Dialogue-based conversations is needed. And the generation of multiple solutions we know through the experimentation. And the use of a structured and facilitated process. So these are the generally five practices that enable the innovation. And how is it possible? The first point is about empathize. You should know uh, user needs, isn't it? Or maybe you have to uh, find the need of users. You have to ask the questions, isn't it? For example, empathize and define. So what you have to do? You have to ask the questions, gather data or maybe the informations. You have to conduct the focus group studies and complete observations to understand the user and the challenges, isn't it? And then give thought of your product or maybe the idea. Ki really with your idea to whom you are helping or maybe the what is the social, what is the political or maybe the economical context of your idea. How does the target audience behave and why based on your product or maybe the service or maybe is there a problem what is the problem really about and is there an opportunity for improvement of a problem just give a thought on that or maybe what does the existing data or maybe the literature say about the issue do the market analysis so all these points that will cover in empathize and define so what will be the third one that is about ideation, you know? So ideation, you know, brainstorming or generate as many solutions as possible. Suppose you have a team, five students are there or five team members are there. Obviously on a one particular problem, you all will think in a different direction or the different perspective, isn't it? So Try to think or generate the number of solutions for a particular problem. And then based on whatever the ideas you are generating or whatever the solutions you are creating, just club it. Let us do the brainstorming and just try to find out the best fit idea for your product or maybe the service. So that will be the ideation, isn't it? And once you are finalizing or the extracting the concrete idea. Let us have a prototype of that, isn't it? 
build minimally viable representations of solutions and that is called as a prototypes and once you have developed the prototype just go again towards the stakeholders test it get stakeholder feedback and observe short term change go back to the drawing board again or maybe your team redefine the problem refine the prototypes do the ideation again isn't it and then you have to implement it evaluate medium term and the long term change of your product or maybe the service suppose if you are implementing be mindful of fit with a dynamically changing context over the time and consider scale up and the diffusion of innovation isn't it so the problems we are facing today uh, students especially we are uh, in a totally whole new level of scale you know compared to the challenges we have faced in the past few decades for example whatever the problem we are facing today that problem was not existing earlier maybe 5 years before or maybe the 10 years before so in a largely globalized world you know where the changes in economic and the natural resources can be felt halfway around the globe our challenges are becoming more intervened with the systems that connect us all and to solve the new way of problems we face today and in the future uh, we need a new kind of thinking that is the new approach towards the innovation you know so design thinking basically is a large part of that new approach towards the innovation as it allows the people teams and the organizations to have a human center perspective stakeholder center perspective and yet a scientific approach towards solving a particular problem so recently i have read the book chapter from the book is uh, change by design you know and in that uh, the author point out your purely technocentric view of innovation is less sustainable than or maybe is less sustainable now than ever and a management philosophy based only on selecting from existing strategies is likely to be overwhelmed by new developments at home or maybe the abroad and what we need are now new choices new products that balance the needs of individuals and of society as a whole you know so new ideas that tackle the global challenges of maybe the health related issues or maybe the poverty related issues and education related issues new strategies that result in a differences that matter and a sense of purpose that engages everyone affected by them so it is hard to imagine a time when the challenges we faced so vastly exceeded the creative resources we have brought to bear on them isn't it so that was a very good book that is the change by design and you know dear students you all have a potential to be a innovator to do the unique things in a interest of society and unique innovative approach is a need of 21st century and there is a need to think every aspect differently and explore the new solution of same problem isn't it so design thinking as a strategy for innovation isn't it so here on a slide you are observing uh, when the design principles are applied to the strategy and the innovation the success rate for innovation dramatically improves you know as uh, you are uh, observing or you, when you are reading the economic times or maybe when you read the uh, startup news or maybe the business news so the design led companies are there isn't it jaise ki apple hai or maybe the pepsi or ibm or nike procter and gamble or maybe the sap so all these organizations they have outperformed you know in the stock market index as well so over a 10 uh, year period by an extraordinary growth around maybe more than 200% uh, 
according to this uh, design value index, isn't it? Every year uh, one organization is there that is a design management institutes. They are launching such kind of the uh, list of companies who are good in design thinking process. So great design, you know, has that wow factor, you know, that makes products more desirable and services more appealing to the users. And if you see the Apple, isn't it Apple? As you know, what is the recognition of Apple? It is well known for its uh, design. You know, since the early days of the computer industry, maybe Apple was a pioneer with its unique design and the value for its uh, Macintosh computers today also, isn't it? So Apple is one of the companies that has a long term design strategy. That focuses on consumer satisfaction. And building a strong emotional marketing relationship between uh, organization and its users. So dear students, what is designing? Designing is more than creating products and services. Maybe it can be applied to the systems. It can be applied to the procedures. It can be applied to the protocols and the customer experience. So design is transforming the way. So as we have just discussed that the leading companies create the value and you know the focus of innovation has shifted from uh, being engineering driven to the design driven now. Maybe from product centric to the customer centric. Or maybe from marketing focused to user experience focus. So design thinking is at the core of effective strategy development and the organizational change. And experts believe that those who are working who are in this particular area that design thinking firms stand apart in their willingness to engage in the task of continuously redesigning their business to create the advances in both innovation and the efficiency. The combination that produces the most powerful competitive age, you know. So can you guess the name of this particular person? He has given very clear idea about distinction between design and design thinking. Anyone would like to guess? Yes. Who is this fellow? Steve Jobs. Yes. As you rightly said, that skew jobs, you know. What he said, most people make the mistake of thinking design is that it looks like, you know, but people think means it's that uh, veneer or maybe the decorative part that the designers are handed this box and told them make it look good. So that is not what we think design is, isn't it? It's not just what it looks like and feels like. Design is how it works, isn't it? Maybe in nutshell we can say design thinking can be described as a discipline that uses the designer's sensibility and methods to match the people needs with what is technologically feasible and what is viable business strategy that convert into the customer value and the market opportunity. So thinking like a designer brings together what is desirable from a human point of view with uh, what is technologically feasible and economically viable, you know, and it also allows people who are not trained as a designers to use the creative tools to address a vast range of challenges. So design thinking draws on logic, you know, imagination or maybe the intuition and systemic reasoning to explore the possibilities of what could be and to create the desired outcomes that benefit the end user or maybe the customer. And you know, a design mindset, you know, design mindset is not a problem focused. 
it's always a solution focused and the action oriented so it involves both analysis and imagination isn't it so what is the driving force behind this design thinking what do you think what is the driving force you know the biggest driving force now is the accelerated rate of change in a business and society caused by advances in technology so as companies become more software driven and the rate of change is increases so obviously the complexity is more so majority of the companies or maybe the entrepreneurs are thinking they are optimized to execute and solve a stated problem creativity is about finding the problem worth solving or maybe an absence of a scalable creative framework that encourages incremental innovation in lieu of disruptive uh, innovation you know so what is a disruptive innovation means maybe as a companies are striving for disruptive innovation they must find ways to inject and scale the creativity across their organizations so what is a disruptive innovation as you know it is an innovation that creates a new market and a value network and eventually displaces the established market or maybe the leading firms or maybe the products and maybe the alliances isn't it if you remember in case of computer accessories initially uh, we were using that uh, floppy disk or maybe the compact disk isn't it Sto uh, cd's we were using for storage and now the hard disk are available and nowadays maybe no one uses that uh, floppy or maybe the cd drive isn't it so that is a disruptive innovation and a digital transformation is about the accelerated disruption of business models and it requires a mindset shift from uh, problem solving to the problem finding isn't it so the key persons of an organization need to be the visionary leaders nowadays from establishing an internal culture that encourages the ideation maybe nowadays industries are looking for uh, for employees or they are looking such kind of the skills in their employees which encourages the ideation creation and the iteration or maybe to building the strategic partnerships to create the new value propositions so design thinking is our best tool for sense making you know meaning making or maybe simplify the process and improving the customer experiences also additionally uh, design thinking that minimizes the risk that i already told you it reduces the cost improves the speed then energizes the employees and design thinking provides the leaders with a framework for addressing the complex human centered challenges and uh, making the best possible maybe the decisions in that particular context isn't it redefine the value reinvent the business models shifting the markets and the behaviors uh, organizational culture change or maybe the complex societal challenge like health education food water or maybe the climate change so these are the various sectors isn't it so i'm just giving you the uh, areas where you all can give the thought related to your own startup or maybe the venture maybe the problems affecting the diverse stakeholders and the multiple systems also uh, one more important point i would like to jot down over here that a design thinking succeeds when it finds ideal solutions isn't it uh, based on the real needs of real people and if you read the news article related to the business review and all those things so harvard business review review is one of the good magazine which who always brings about the evolution of design thinking and in that one uh, quote was there or one uh, text was there that people need their interactions with technologies and other complex systems to be very simple to be intuitive and uh, pleasurable isn't it so when done well human centered design enhances the user experience at every touch point and fuels the creation of products and services that deeply resonate with the customers so design is empathic and thus implicitly drives a more thoughtful human approach to the business 
so uh, implementing design thinking so as uh, you know i am considering or expecting that you got the gist of design thinking now let us explore on this implementing the design thinking or maybe as you know design thinking is a journey of learning and the discovery it's also a way of beginning uh, being if you are strategizing you are designing you know let us have a one activity for you here i have written isn't it so what is that uh, activity just explore on this ki evolved educational model in this uh, covid pandemic now you are the witness isn't it you are one of the lucky candidates who have witnessed our conventional teaching pattern before the covid pandemic and now the classes are started isn't it and you are experiencing now the classroom teaching as well as the online teaching isn't it so we have that blend or maybe the hybrid way of teaching learning pattern so what is what is your understanding or what is uh, your way of thinking on this particular point ki evolved educational model in covid pandemic what will be the after 5 years down the line or maybe the 10 years down the line which educational model will sustain so this is just a problem or maybe this is just a, an idea i have given you so let us reflect on this and uh, take 2 minutes or maybe that 3 minutes for thinking and uh, let me know ki as you are you have witnessed both the teaching pedagogy so what will be your idea or maybe the your thought process on upcoming educational model maybe 2 years down the line or 5 years down the line or maybe now we are used to to all these online teaching learning process isn't it so according to your thought process which model will come up or will give the more success in view of students or in view of who is delivering the session or maybe the uh, educational institutes so what is your say on this just reflect just thought on this point maybe the empathize or maybe the define or uh, ideate isn't it so i am asking you about this two process empathize define and ideate isn't it and then we will see based on your reflections whether can we come up with a kind of the prototypes or not yes so uh, here what i am expecting you know uh, maybe for example in empathize you know what you can say that to create the meaningful innovations you know you need to know your users and care about their lives when we are talking about defining maybe framing the right problem is the only way to create the right solution or maybe the idea it's not about coming up with the right ideas it's about generating the broadest range of possibilities then prototype build to think and test to learn and the test testing is an opportunity to learn about your solution and your user yes anyone would like to come up with any point so we will share a couple of sharings and then we will come towards the end of our uh, towards the end of session so what is your thought process what do you think after 5 years down the line or 10 years down the line this educational model will bring lot of success or will be more effective or like that yes anyone would like to say anything on this point
no one okay i will give you one hint over here or maybe i will just carry forward this particular thing i had given you time to think on this maybe what will be the evolved educational model after five years down the line or 10 years down the line but right now if you see the one uh, successful story of one of the innovator isn't it so when we are talking about scaling the design thinking so uh, what is the name of this lady anyone now can guess indra yes indra yes 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 you know uh, scaling the design thinking is nowadays matters a lot maybe all those organizations are there maybe the procter and gamble ibm or maybe the cisco these all are integrating design and maybe the design thinking throughout the organization isn't it so by creating their own frameworks maybe educating employees at all the levels hiring professional designers and the design researchers as well as acquiring the designing companies in order to operate at a scale so the cisco you know that was the first company to launch the uh, various programs related to this design thinking and all those things and as you know the chief technology officer of ibm uh, in one of their interview they said that their teams have a very engineering uh, centric culture isn't it uh, so uh, but over the period everything has changed now they wanted to shift that culture towards a focus on users outcome and they made the pivot from the stand alone or maybe the siloed business units to a cloud first and maybe artificial intelligence strategy and also he mentioned that this enormous transformation would not have been possible without embedding the design thinking into the company culture and innovating on this methodology to make it uniquely their own so the government is now ministry of education is inculcating such kind of the values at your graduation level only isn't it so uh, in this case uh, this uh, indra nui when uh, she was the chairman and the ceo of pepsico company so i think her tenure was uh, maybe from 2006 to 2018 isn't it so she decided at the time the company needed to rethink its innovation process and design the experience you know so it's much more than packaging and uh, she hired in uh, pepsi in a year 2018 the first ever chief design officer you know placing design thinking at the core of a business strategy and the leadership she created that designation in her organization as a chief design officer and now the design teams are pushing design through the entire system from a product creation to the packaging and labeling to how a product looks on the shelf or to how the consumers interact with it so majority of the companies have identified the four critical success factors while implementing the design thinking you know the leadership that link the design thinking initiatives to strategic goals maybe the provide direction resources and the commitment then the people they enable the champions to lead the change through the successful lighthouse projects maybe build up on internal design thinking community where the best practices are shared and then the process maybe use the generic design thinking framework but evolve the method and tools so they support your company objectives and the environment as you know develop and create the collaborative workspaces for your workforce you know used to co innovate co create with your customers and the partners so design thinking works because it is collaborative you know co creative process grounded in engagement or maybe the dialogue and maybe the learning and when you involve the customers and all the stakeholders in the process of defining the problem and in developing the solutions i am sure you have a much better chance of gaining the commitment for change and getting buy in for your innovation isn't it so uh, i think uh, can you guess now this anyone baju ravindra yes that's the uh, correct guess isn't it so he is the 
person, isn't it? And if you see the success story, let us have some sharing on his uh, success story of uh, Baiju Ravindran. You know, he's a founder and CEO of Baiju Learning App, and that is the now global edutech startup. You know, so he obtained that uh, mechanical engineering degree in uh, South, maybe the, I think Calicut University. And after completed his engineering, uh, his studies. Uh, Baiju uh, received a job in one of the multinational uh, shipping firm as a service engineer who started traveling all around the world. He was a bright student and some of his friends asked him to guide them. So his close friends thought of helping to prepare for the MBA exam and Baiju was very good at mathematics as well and started teaching for his friends the concepts, mathematics concepts. And Baiju also attempted the exam along with his friends just for fun. And he was amazed when he got a score of 100 percentile in the final exam of IM. And after seeing his amazing results, his friends advised him starting a coaching class or teach students and aspiring uh, themes for competitive exams. So he agreed and decided to uh, resign from highly paid job and started his coaching class and Baiju began teaching students on the terrace of his close friend's house and it is from here that the journey of Baiju became a successful entrepreneur. You know initially Baiju would only teach the MBA aspirants. Uh, Baiju started running full-time coaching classes then he used to teach the students for free of cost for a week then as the number of students grew he started his education technology firm under the name of uh, Baiju, isn't it? What is the uh, name? Think and Learn Private Limited in 2011, whose tagline is what? Fall in love with learning. So with the help of some of his students who had just graduated from uh, IIM and aimed at creating the educational content for the students. So he moved his class from terrace to classroom. Then he started his coaching class with just rupees very less amount or very less fun. And Baiju started an online video based learning program, you know, for CAT initially. And this was the first time that Baiju included the technology in teaching. His method of coaching was so popular that there was a time when the Baiju uh, had more than 20,000 students across different states at a time, including the Mumbai, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, or maybe the Chennai, isn't it? So he launched the Baiju's learning app, his flagship product in 2015, isn't it? Now year 2022 for school students, which would help students get access to the educational material that Baiju has to offer. And it took four years, you know, to create this learning mobile application from 2011 to 2015. So that was the period of design thinking, you know, that was the period in which he ideated. That was the period in which he had developed the prototypes. That was the period in which he has tested his product and refined it, retested it. And now the Baiju's class becomes a brand. You know, Baiju Learning App is the largest education company in India that offers highly effective, engaging, and uh, adaptive learning programs for students in classes start from 4 to 12. Also, that educational app also offers various competitive exams like CAT or maybe the JE, NET or maybe the UPSC preparation or GRE, GMAT, isn't it? So the Baiju's learning app has become the most preferred education mobile application for students across the age groups. So the Baiju's learning app makes use of rich animations, you know, engaging videos, interactive uh, simulations, original content, and the lessons from India's best teachers. So Baiju is the only startup in Asia which is funded by Mark Zuckerberg, you know, founder of Facebook. And currently Baiju has the expertise with more than 700 uh, high quality product development teams, content creators who develop the quality content, 150 creative media teams to make interesting videos and more than 100 technology teams. Isn't it? So that is the uh, overall uh, thought process. 
or that is the overall framework of design thinking and that is the uh, successful uh, startup or maybe now a unicorn isn't it so hope uh, each one of you isn't it understood uh, today's content of design thinking and innovation so if you have any specific questions we can pick up for discussion or else uh, you can just post me on my whatsapp number or maybe the ping me thank you very much for patient listening and uh, thank you yeah over to okay. ic cell members thank you sir without wasting any time let's move on to the q and a session i request you all to drop your queries in the chat box so hope each one of you uh, got a good start of your holiday sunday i really appreciate each one of you that though uh, sunday is there but you all have attended this session so i really appreciate that hope each one of you will explore on this particular perspective you will try to implement you will try to inculcate such kind of the thought process in your day to day activities okay so you all can uh be in touch with our ic cell members at any time they are uh, coming up with various different activities maybe it will be ic calendar activity or maybe the ic driven cell driven activities or maybe the kind of celebration days or uh, one more activity we have that is the mic driven activity so uh, we will uh, come up with uh, such kind of the problems or maybe the such kind of the topics every time okay so i think uh, we should uh, close the session anushka oh ma'am from uh, so someone has a question okay uh, the question is how do i spot opportunities for innovation yes when we are talking about the innovation you know uh, first of all you should know the various sectors nowadays maybe the health sector first you have to uh, extract in which sector you have to work maybe it will be the health related or maybe it will be related to the education or maybe it will be related to the general purpose so that particular thought process you have to extract then explore the various areas and if you are pointing out any particular area of for your work then at that time you have a benchmark for ideas and uh, innovation process you know so the first point when we are talking so you have to start from problem identification first you have to see what is the problem you have to find the gaps and then go for the idea generation on that particular problem and once you generated the idea then idea evaluation is one of the important point that you have to work and once your idea is evaluated then just pick up that particular idea for innovation development and once we are you are starting with innovation development first use it and validate it ki yes your service or maybe the your product is helpful or not and in what way that is bringing change in society or maybe the users and then give a thought of commercialization or maybe the technology transfer of your service and then in that way you go for the knowledge diffusion by the open source or maybe any intellectual property rights or any uh, intellectual property management so maybe that will be the ideal flow that uh, we should maintain yeah over to anushka yasin has a question what is disruptive innovation yes disruptive innovation that i told you maybe the for example uh, before uh, 10 years we were using the floppy or maybe the compact disc cds isn't it as for a storage purpose now that is completely replaced now we are using the different storage devices so that is a disruptive innovation jo already existing innovation hai usko complete replace karna that is called as a disruptive innovation 
then i think mihir shah also written how can i get other people behind my idea so the important point is over here the creation of heterogeneous teams isn't it here we should not think in that particular direction the other person will listen me always or he will or she will follow me always you have that open mindedness you have that co creation you have that collaboration isn't it at that time work on a particular problem statement come up with a different ideas different solutions discuss it and then this is the team building activity you know so heterogeneous team is one of the successful mantra for uh, any kind of the startup or maybe the any kind of the venture so in what way you will pick up or make a team of different members have a different ideas or different perspective and in what way you are making all of them on a one string and that is the skill isn't it so that skill that you can develop this is not the case there this is not the case ki that uh, no one can get that kind of the skill but over the period when you will interact with the people when you will interact with your colleague when you will interact with your classmates at that time you will only experience the things and will bring uh, the good team members on a platform so that may be the answer for this then dhoni uh, wrote how to get new ideas as the world is saturating with ideas how to stand out so that is the dhoni that is the again thing ki the problems every time the problem will not be the same for example 10 years before this was not the problem about online teaching and all those things isn't it now since last 2 years the online teaching was there initially that was not a problem so maybe the problems will not be same that will change continuously today the problem will be different one year down the line problems will be different so you should have adapt or you should try to explore in that direction try to analyze the things in your surrounding try to find out the problems and then you can pick up that particular problems or maybe the ideas so this is a continuous evolution you know ki this is not the miss uh, how to get the new ideas as the world is saturating with the ideas so that is not the case so idea creation is a different thing isn't it at a time here suppose if you are collecting the idea so more than 100 ideas will generate on a one particular topic but how will you conceive that idea how will you carry forward that particular idea how will you make it as a your product or maybe the service so that is the skill and that is needed through this uh, creative thinking process or maybe the co creation or maybe the collaborative process so that will be the answer uh, dhoni then uh, how should i form and manage the innovation teams gaurav is asking so same thing now we all are sitting over here on this particular platform your thought process or maybe you have listened this particular uh, discussion you can start suppose if you have your own ideas just uh, explore that uh, your ideas or maybe your thought process try to uh, take a reflection of other members or maybe your colleagues on that particular thought process ki kya ho sakta hai possibility or in what way we can carry forward this particular idea and uh, this is not the case ki chalo maine kuch idea diya to koi to bhi wo mera idea chura lega or maybe i will not get the credit of that that is not the case you know now the our legalized system or maybe the intellectual property management is one of the tool and that is the key aspect of our iic patenting is there copywriting is there isn't it trademarking is there so suppose if you feel that if you have that kind of the fear factor so first protect your idea and then you can discuss with your colleagues or we can discuss with the friends and then uh, you can uh, collect the uh, different opinions on that particular idea so the ipr intellectual property management is one of the tool that you can use before uh, going for any particular innovation team that would be the answer gaurav so over that's all anushka yes sir okay or uh, thank you for addressing all our queries i would like to thank sir by presenting a sir, certificate of appreciation for taking out your precious time from your schedule to impart valuable information about design and critical thinking yes thank we you would, anushka 
we would like to end the session by requesting everyone to fill the feedback forms with the link provided in the chat box. Thank you to our principal ma'am, faculty members and DJ Sangvi College for gracing this session with their presence. Finally, I would like to thank our audience for being an active part of this session. IIC BNCP will continue to bring such enticing events in the upcoming academic year. We hope you had a good time, stay indoors and keep thinking out of the box. Thank you. Yes, thank you Anushka. And uh, thank you all the IIC cell members, Mihir and Himani. And uh, have a nice time. Have a nice day. See you.